Hi, thanks for stopping by. I'm Rob, this is Tinkineering, and it is incredibly humbling for me to be able to say that this video was brought to you with the help of my Patreon supporters. Now I want to build a display that shows the names of those supporters here in the Tinker Space. Let me show you how. Okay, here we go. One Raspberry Pi and one Pi Maroni scroll fat HD display with the bright white LEDs. These really are bright and white. I tested them earlier on a different Pi. Now you'll see that this is the Raspberry Pi without the pre-soldered headers. So I'll be using my trusty solderless pin and connect kit. Also by Pi Maroni, which I'll uh, unbox there. So what we need is to put the pins on the uh, on the Raspberry Pi first. So we won't use that piece. We'll use the Raspberry Pi version, which is just these connectors and the pins ready to go. So take the first piece here. And if you watch my previous video on this, you'll see that I added some tape on to help hold these uh, screws in place. Next, we add on this spacer plate with these holes cut out. This is recess here is so that we've got space for the pins to push through uh, when we add in the, uh, the connector in a short while. So that goes on there. Then the Raspberry Pi fits on through that hole there and that hole there, and that pushes down. So. That fits in quite nicely there. These screws really just hold it in place. Next we hold the uh, Raspberry Pi connector. These are the male, these are the male connectors. That just slots into there. And the last piece is this one here, which fits over the top. So that's a nice little sandwich ready to go. Now to get that clamped together, I've got my tabletop vice uh, just to make sure I've got enough space I've also got a, a little piece of styrene here plastic card just to give me an extra space here so force down so that I don't need to uh, interfere with these screws as the clamp comes down so this is the tricky bit getting all of this in without dropping anything that can go in there Just about there now. Let's give that a double check. We've got space, we've got room, we're ready to go. So as we clamp that down now, this should start to force those pins into the Raspberry Pi. There we go. Ping. And let's just pop that back out. And take a look at the Raspberry Pi. So there we go, everything all nice and neatly pushed in, no need to worry about that, that's ready to go, and that one is done. So the next bit is to do this with the, the scroll hat, side of P is it? I'm sure it is. So this scroll hat comes with a connector which you solder on and as you know I'm pretty, uh, pretty awful at soldering which is why I'm quite invested in these solderless connectors so we'll take this and we'll just use the solderless connector instead that came with the kit and that will then allow us to uh, take that, connect the two together, and we're good to go. The process for doing that is exactly the same as before. So to uh, avoid repeating myself, here's one I made earlier. As the female connector goes underneath the hat, I've had to be a little more creative with the assembly. So the board is sticking out of the jig and the acrylic doesn't touch any of the LEDs. Just like before, apply some gentle clamping pressure to the jaws of the vise and force the spring-loaded pins into the hat. Now 
and that is all there is to it. This hat is ready to use straight away. First thing to do is to connect the hat to the pie. To do that, I line up the pins and gently push the two halves together. I've already prepared this memory card with the Raspbian operating system on it, and that goes in the side here. For now, I'm powering this from a battery pack which means I'm not tethered to the wall. So let's plug it in and turn it on. This card has two scripts built into the boot up sequence. I'll put a link in the description to my website where I've got more details on their contents. The first script checks the network settings on the Pi and identifies which wireless network it's connected to and what the Pi's IP address is. That information will let me connect to it over SSH from anywhere on the same network. So these two values are scrolled across the hat a couple of times to show me that the Pi is up and running. The second script talks to Patreon. Using a special key that's linked to my Patreon campaign, the Pi can talk to their servers and ask for a list of my current patrons. I take that list, chop it up, join the bits back together to create this message which is output on the hat. And that's how we did it. But before I go any further, I just want to say a special thanks to Kurt and Jeff for helping me out on Patreon. Not only do they get mentioned in this video, but like all Patreon supporters, they get early access to all my video content because that's where I post it first. Head over to patreon.com slash tinkernearing to find out how you can get early access to my video content. If you have any questions or comments about this build, please leave them below or you can contact me on the social media links that I've left in the description. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of any future content that I upload. But that's it for this time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.